Autonomous quad rotors rely on accurate state estimation to navigate safely. Visual inertial model odometry combines camera and IMU data with the quad rotors model to estimate the full vehicle state. The accuracy of current methods degrades in the presence of strong disturbances or when the dynamics are not well modeled. This factor graph shows how a standard, tightly coupled VIO system operates. It fuses vision factors, obtained through feature tracking, and inertial factors obtained from the IMU to estimate the quadrotor state along with the IMU biases. Visual inertial models extend the traditional VIO framework by incorporating a motion prior based on quadrotor dynamics. While these state-of-the-art systems perform well in many scenarios, their accuracy degrades in the presence of inaccurate vehicle models or persistent external disturbances, such as wind, due to the simplified assumptions in the dynamics model. In our method, we address these limitations by proposing a hybrid dynamics model that combines a first principles quad rotor model with a learning-based component that captures residual effects, such as aerodynamic drag. It models the translational and rotational vehicle dynamics and tightly integrates them into the VIO system with minimal runtime overhead. In contrast to prior work, our learned dynamics model does not require access to the full drone state. Only the commanded thrust and torques, as well as the gyroscope measurements, are needed. These inputs are processed by two temporal convolutional networks. One predicts a residual thrust, and the other predicts a residual torque. The predicted residuals are then added to the measured thrust and torque, and the resulting signals are integrated to estimate updates in velocity, position, and relative orientation. We validate our learned dynamics model with a NeuroBAM dataset, which contains very fast and agile trajectories. Our method performs remarkably well compared to model-based, learning-based, and hybrid baselines, despite not having access to the full quadrotor state. In terms of trajectory estimation, our method outperforms the visual inertial and visual inertial model baselines on the Blackbird dataset. The Blackbird dataset contains diverse trajectories at medium speeds. Compared to the baselines, the largest improvements are in the faster trajectories, where the camera motion and rapid yaw changes make the tracking of visual features challenging. Next, we move to real-world experiments to demonstrate the performance of our hybrid dynamics VIO pipeline in the presence of disturbances. We equip a quad rotor with a drag board and fly it in strong winds up to 25 kilometers per hour. On the bottom right, the force estimate, and on the left, the position estimate from the pipeline are shown. Our method is plotted in red, and the ground truth positions are shown in blue. Despite the challenging flight conditions, our method is very accurate. Finally, we want to demonstrate that HDVIO2 runs efficiently on board the quad rotor and provides real-time state estimates for closed-loop control. The goal of this experiment is to track a random trajectory and only use our HDVIO2 state estimate for control. The plot at the bottom shows the ground truth position in blue, the Intel RealSense estimate in yellow, and ours in red. Notably, HDVIO2 outperforms the commercial stereo-based visual inertial SLAM system of the Intel RealSense T265, as shown in the plot. Towards the end of the 120 seconds flight, the real sense has drifted 50 centimeters, whereas our approach only drifts about 20 centimeters.